Hey everybody, this is Melvin with Tech Running 24-7 and in today's video we want to share a tip with those of you that have purchased an iPhone 10 and are having a hard time adjusting to no longer having a home button. Well in this video you're in luck. We're going to show you how to get a virtual home button and that will function just like your physical home button did. So with that being said, let's get started. So for demonstrating demonstration purposes, we're going to use our iPhone 10 S max. And the first thing we need to do is to uh, clear out the bottom of the screen to make room for our home button, our new virtual home button. So go ahead and press down on one of the apps until you get them to start jiggling. And then we're going to move up the uh, apps and get them all the way from the bottom of the screen. Once you have them all up out the way, hit done. And now we have, plenty of room down at the bottom of the screen for our new button. So next we need to locate the uh, settings. Go ahead and hit settings and open that up. And once it's opened up, we need to go to accessibility. Tap on accessibility. Then you need to scroll down to where you will see assisted touch. And it says off, so we're gonna tap on that to open up that menu. And then once you're in, in assistive touch, uh, the toggle there is off, so we need to toggle that on. And once you toggle it on, you have your home button. But we need to uh, make up some commands for it real quick. So to make it our home button, we look at where it says single tap, it says none. We're gonna open that, and we're gonna assign it to home button. And so once you've done that, we just need to come out of that. And now we're back at our home screen, and now we have a new virtual home button. And so just to test it out, we're gonna open up a couple of apps and close them back. So let's open up our weather app, tap on that to open it. Then we go down to our virtual home button, tap on that once, and it'll close it out. Or even to our maps, tap on that to open it. And um, then hit the home button, and it'll close it out again. So that's about it for our video for today, how to put a virtual home button on our iPhone 10. Hopefully this video has been informative and it's something that you can use. Now, if this is your first time visiting our channel or if you've been here before but hadn't subscribed, we want to encourage you to take a moment and go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. And while you're at it, go ahead and hit the bell icon too so you can be notified of new content whenever we release it. So again, this is Melvin with Tech Running 24-7, bringing you technology that's on the move. Thanks.